able to smile on your face. Um, it is um, just a little spoof that I did. I don't do that every day. Um, and yes, I can draw. I did actually do a painting to raise money for Benefim Dogs and I managed to raise 150 euros and this is painting. Um, unfortunately, all my painting and drawing stuff is still in the garage along with my best clothes probably getting eaten by mice. Um, we've got so much stuff in the garage including carobs, 23, 25 bags of carobs. Um, yeah, so maybe one day I'll do some pictures of the farm or something. Um, if I ever get round to it. I'll take you outside now. Welcome to the Hellgarl. It's a little bit rainy right now, as you can tell. We made a very big mistake, didn't we? Because we came out for sushi, and at our house, it was absolutely glorious. Yeah, sunny. And now, and we brought this one with us, and it is this. It is absolutely caning it down. So we've come to Pedro's bar yeah to have a little sit down and it still hasn't stopped although look there is actually could be possibility of a bit of blue sky now I'm there. thinking I'm thinking do I run to the car you're not running nowhere okay you'll lose your glasses you lose your wallet you'll lose your keys Yes. Well, the same we didn't get sushi any case. Yeah, but, but, but being, being honest, Andrew, we need this weather. Yeah, but there's always tomorrow. Always yes. tomorrow. It's supposed to be a much better day tomorrow. Yeah. And I was hoping to do some work today on the on the ruin when we got back from tea. Uh, but there's no chance we can work in there. Uh. We're being stranded at the bar. Yes. And it does look like it's actually passing now. Thank goodness. You're a happy little bee. Yeah, because Spenny's coming back. Spenny's coming back and we're doing the airport run tonight at 7 o'clock. Um, it's coming back from Amsterdam.
So this is where we got to yesterday and um, I think I did really well. So I'm going to, you can tell it's a different day. I've got a different set of washing out. Um, so I'm going to crack on with that today and um, get all these little weeds out. Um, hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but it will be back breaking work. But I'm going to put you on the old iPhone on fast forward because um, the battery life on the Sony doesn't last that long and my um, good old iPhone seems to, to do the trick for that job right. So that's me for the next few hours. to dig over it this afternoon now you're probably wondering Angela why don't you do the no dig method well there's two reasons really because um, Bella's just walking in the city um, there's two reasons because um, we're not doing the no dig method and one is because I just have to be careful so she doesn't fall off one is because um, cardboard is toxic. You have to be really careful what kind of cardboard you actually get. You can't just pick up cardboard that's got all the writing on. Um, I think it's lead that it might have in it. And also it's pressed together by glue. Now you might say, well, um, you can get organic cardboard. Yes, you can but it's very expensive. It's about 100 euros a roll. Um, and I'd probably need two rolls for the area that I need to do. So that'd be 200 euros. Plus I would have to buy then the peat. Um, so by the time you finish doing all that, you might as well have just got your veg from Aldi. Um, but I am trying to grow organically, but yes, you can get organic veg from Aldi and Lidl. So, um, you have to wear things up and also obviously um, it costs money to water your plants as well. Um, so yeah, it is hard work and it is the hardest way to do it and that is to actually um, do it the old fashioned way and just dig your raised bed up, your soil that you've got, take the weeds out and that's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, if I do that I think it, it will be better because you're not getting toxins from the glue, you're not getting um, toxins from the outer cover of the, the cardboard but it is the hardest way to do the beds. And that's for sure it is the hardest way to do the beds but then again I don't go to the gym so I look at it as a gym workout that's how I've got to, to look at it um, also the pellet burner this is the third week that we've not had the pellet burner um, because nobody's got in touch with us I think it's really bad customer service apparently they have a month 30 days um, which will be next Friday and apparently if they don't well the store said the big store said if they don't um, contact us within 30 days we'll get the money back and it was 1500 euros so um, at this stage I'm not recommending a pellet burner to anybody because once they go wrong um, to be left in winter without a fire on I think it's disgusting um, 
but that's my thoughts. I would stick to um, a burner, um, just a regular stove. So, quick change of plan. Um, I've just been outside and even though it rained last night, um, the ground is still solid. Um, so, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it's supposed to rain on Saturday. So, I'll see what the ground is like then. Um, the reason why I'm sort of like against I'm doing it with the tractor is that he's going to have to run over my flowers which are looking absolutely gorgeous at the moment but it just might have to be the case that I have to sacrifice my nasturtiums a bit um, so it can dig the ground up a lot better than I can dig it up because it's going to take me hours and um, it's cold, it's 15 degrees, but it's got a um, cold wind and I think I'm just going to have some lunch instead. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Might even watch a film this afternoon. Hmm. Well, it has rained quite a lot over the last few days, so I'm hoping that the ground's going to be a lot better to actually dig up. Um, it certainly feels a lot spongier to walk on, so I'm going to give it a good go. Um, so I'll put you on um, fast forward on the good old iPhone and we'll see where we get to today. Just watching the beautiful birds that are um, flying about. Right, got to crack on with this now. <laughs> Well, I've managed to finish it. Um, it was gruelingly hard. Um, I've had to put a light on because it's gone a bit cloudy this afternoon. So it's actually, if you can hear the buzzing, it might go off. Yeah, it was very hard digging over that soil. Um, but thankfully, with the three days of rain, it had actually made the ground a lot softer. So 
So having three days of rain for us was absolutely fantastic. It was perfect timing. Um, so it did make the ground spongy when you actually um, walked on it. So for us, it came at the right time. And um, I just want to say um, um, a huge congratulations to Dan and Karen, our subscribers. They have been looking for three years for their dream property in Portugal and they've managed to actually um, buy a place in Coimbra which is in the middle of Portugal. It seems to have absolutely everything. It's a detached house with um, a house in the grounds, an acre of land, well established trees and a borehole and it sounds absolutely idyllic. So. Um, it would be lovely if, if you're not subscribed already to be part of our YouTube family because we always like to hear what you're doing and I do try and message everybody back that tries and contacts us. Um, it's just nice to know that people are still following their dreams and Darren, Dan and Karen, after three years, they managed to get their dream property so never give up hope that's that's the message isn't so, it i'm really glad that i've actually done that today and i'm going to go over it tomorrow and i've got so many plants to put in i've got green beans i've got potatoes i've got garlic and squashes so we're going to set those off in the next video so yeah i have achieved it and i'm glad i've done it and it was hard work. Anyway, this is me doing my Miley Cyrus impression. Um, hope you enjoy it and see you next time.